I can't hardly see you. Right, you ready? Is everything. I, you recommend separate bathrooms? Yes, of course. Well, of course, the count hall has that, but you know, there's nine times more gluten in bread than there used to be, and that sticks to the inside of your gut and prevents the food being swept through by the little villi, the hairs. Something like, well, the Queen has properly made bread in the old fashioned way, and so she also not only um, yes, she has properly fermented bread, so her gut isn't cluttered, but she sits up straight while eating. Queen Victoria was taught to eat with a sprig of holly on her neck, so she keeps herself upright when eating, and the food goes down the way nature intended. Too many of us hunch. Oh, isn't it lovely having more rooms for me to walk around so that you can see what I'm getting up to. This table and chair is eventually going, by the way. People were asking me about my sofa. Hello, good morning by the way, welcome. I've just launched into Monday morning in my new flat. Um, the sofa's being reupholstered, so when it is here, it will go in this position here. What I brought, oh, I'm longing to show you this. By the way, this is my breakfast, porridge, blueberries, and the stuff I was putting on it is inulin, which uh, I watched a program with Angela Rippon and she says that it helps with your cholesterol and stops fat being formed around the heart. I bought into that, so I've been eating inulin ever since I watched the documentary. This is the chair I bought back from my mum's garage. It was part of my Brighton life, and I often used to sit in it, and my mum would sit in it in the garden in the summer, and loads of you said I love it. It's, um, it's called a distressed armchair. So it's an antique armchair that hasn't actually been worked on. And I quite like the fact that you can see, you can see the workings of the chair. And I don't think I'm going to have it covered, especially after I've spent 2,000 something on my sofa. Have a look at this. See, you can see the, uh, whole frame of the chair oh gosh so I'm just putting you back on here sorry about this Philippe cut this bit out and I've got no makeup makeup on do you do I care no oh gosh that's better um I think I'm just going to keep it like that gosh now you're wonky sorry I am going to find a great setup place um <clears throat> so I'm just having my my porridge and I've got this massive box behind me this was sent to me from excuse me, as a gift, and I know what it is. It is um, an advent calendar. Now, I have watched influencers and vloggers and people receive these advent calendars over the years, and I've just thought, who on earth would buy one of those? Well, I haven't. It was sent to me by a company that I love, who I have worked with, called uh, Next Beauty, because Next Beauty sell all different brands of beauty. They've sent me this. And I am going to open it on my Instagram. So if you want to see me open it, go to my Instagram. And it's up there. Um, and I am going to give it to my wonderful land... Not landlady. Caretaker. Sandra. She helped me move in here. She is the kindest, kindest person. Um, and she's a friend as well now. She really is a tr good friend. So I think she would love this advent calendar. Oh, it's a great gift. Anyway, I'll explain it all on Instagram or skip this bit and just carry on watching this.
I'm just um, running a bar. I don't know why I've had to show you the tap. You know, one of the few things that um, is lacking in this flat is a plug. Um, because I think the previous tenant always had showers. I always take baths and um, there are no plugs. How do you buy a plug? I, I, know, I know how to buy a plug. But I suppose you measure the plug hole, do you? So you know what size plug or are all plugs the same size? I'm not playing the blonde card. Seriously, I'm not. Um, but actually, it's an excuse for me to go to one of my favourite shops in Marylebone. It's one of the few remaining independent shops in Marylebone. It's a lovely little hardware and um, they should have plugs. I'm going to measure it. <laughs> it's hardly DIY, is it? Get a grip, Joe. Okay, so I'm off to get a plug. Once I've got dressed, then I'm going into work. Busy day here in Marylebone. This is Chilton Street, uh, the very famous Chilton Firehouse is down here, one of the grooviest places. I think I've filmed in there actually. This is where I'm going in, Webster's. One of the few remaining hardware stores, but it's a double-edged sword because it's also next to Bella Freud's. Yes, the only downfall with um, the hardware store is it's right next to Bella Freud's, which is my downfall. But, oh gosh, the sun's in my eyes. But I won't be going in there. I'm just going to go and buy a plug. This truly is one of the best shops in Marylebone and we're so lucky to have it because most hardware shops have gone. But this shop sells absolutely everything and it's called Webster's. And um, hopefully we've got a plug. <laughs> They have literally everything. It's a small shop, but they said to stock everything in here. So, there we go. One plug, 2 95 done. Just around the corner from where I live. So now I'm gonna head into work. I mean, this is glorious weather. It's been raining all night long, um, but the sun is now. It's the sort of weather where you know there is probably gonna be a rainbow somewhere. I'm wearing an old trilby that I bought no, I didn't. My friend Susie gave me this when we were doing a vintage market. I don't know whether it was her granddad's, her dad's, but no, she gave me this hat and I absolutely love it. I've got such a massive head, it just fits on top of it. Look, these are the rich apartments in Marylebone. This used to be a very famous office block where they filmed one of the scenes of sliding doors then they stuck this up I mean this is art I don't get it I also don't ever see anyone going in and out I honestly believe those apartments look how high up they are No one lives in them. There's never a light on. And they're too high for Marylebone. Those are my thoughts anyway. <laughs> Keep it to myself. But it is next to this lovely little park. Paddington Gardens, which is lovely. Right, I am so late, I'm gonna run. The sun is really glorious, but it's so low down. Hi Lisa. Do you know, busy working on the show, creating radio gold. Busy working on the show, my producer. Somebody actually commented, oh, Elisa, Gaprit, Joe, back together again. Well, uh, Elisa and I are back together again, but there's someone with a marked absence, isn't there? Are you better? Yes. Well, please tell me, yes, keep you your distance. Tell me about the temperature. Please tell me about the temperature and the slight cough that you had yesterday. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, he wasn't well, but it was nothing. Elisa said to me on air, that's, new, uh, that's Will, by the way, the newsreader. And I said to Lisa, he went home in the middle of a shift, and I went, is he all right? She said, yes, apart from a temperature and a slight cough, he's fine. No, it wasn't anything to do with that, was it, Elisa? No, it wasn't. I love what you're wearing. Thank you. Oh, I love that tunic dress. Boss. Boss. 
Cause, oh yeah, boss. Cause is, uh, oh boss. yes, boss. <laughs> Cause is wonderful. They use really good fabric. I've just said, Elisa, that um, you said yesterday when I arrived, your skin looks amazing. It does, yeah, it does look amazing. Well, I have just filmed um, myself in the bathroom with literally no makeup on, and I've just looked back at it. If you go to my midweek vlog, I posted it on Wednesday. I look like my grandmother did. Seriously, I've gone beyond my mother to look the way my grandmother did. But I don't care because I think you need. Need to all know what I put on my skin. I've ordered you a pinch of colour. Have you? Yes. Well, you said you put nothing on your skin, but you have put something on your skin. Skin care, but not makeup. Yeah, but you said it looks clear. It doesn't look clear. It's brown. Oh, no, no, it's you. clear. I seriously, I'm going to take this out because I've ordered you one. It is. Did it look brown on so your I skin? People say I never wear makeup. And then they just say, but a tinted moisturiser. No, this, sorry everybody, we need to clear up. I go on and on about this. I've ordered one from Freya because they don't, they have it in stock, but they don't have it on the shop floor. Right, now rub that on something white. But look, this looks brown. But this it's not. Translucent. But it's translucent. Put it on something white. And you will see, this is translucent. Oh, looks pretty brown. Hang on, but I think that might be the remnants of my makeup. Oh, it's not very brown. Look, it's not. Hold that up. Well, <laughs> not much though, no, is it? No, but it's still, it's still something. It's still, it is quite something. <laughs> it is quite something. But don't you just love the smell? Oh God, I've no taste or smell. <laughs> Stop it. She's just winding me up now. Elisa is about to set out on a very big adventure, which we're not going to talk a great deal about. But she and her extraordinary family, um, I'm not going to say any more, this is called a tease. They are going to become um, a social media phenomenon, but I will tell you more later. But all I can say is watch this space and I'll keep you up to date. I have filmed a lot with... with um, in fact, Elisa, the last time I filmed you for this channel, apart from last week is when you were very pregnant and you did the Carnaby Street lady oh yeah my bump I was chasing my bump and Capri was chasing me I'm gonna I'm gonna actually uh, put that in I'm gonna insert it now but this was when Hunter who's he was he, he was in her stomach how old is Hunter now he's 20 months he's um Hunter thank God he's behaving like his name can you imagine if he was quite a fragile <laughs> child <laughs> he's not he is as my mother always says well that's a boy <laughs> that is a boy I know that'll get comments as well but uh, forgive me I was born in 55 okay right we'll crack on Matilda that's Mutti's seat Matilda that's Mutti Mutz Matilda's in your seat she's in your seat Mutz Matilda you've got to get off darling you've got to go to the back darling Got to go to the back. Come on, yeah. Tilda, you know that you don't sit there. <laughs> Have you got your mask, Mutz? Oh, no. Oh, hang on, here it is. Here, I'll give you that. We're off to the hairdressers. Thank you. Mutti's having, what are you having done to I your hair? I just had a, a wash and a blow dry. Okay, well, don't let her sniff the, the mask, Mutz. I'll put that on. Don't worry. You, Matilda, come on, you get in the back. You get in the back. That's it, clever girl. Right. You're um, a clever girl. Do you want to put the mask on when we're in? That's the best thing. There she is. I need to put my mask on as well. We're just going to um, the hairdresser for Mutz and um, Matilda pushes her luck, tries to sit in her seat. But I might not film at the hairdressers actually. I think I'll film. They won't mind us filming in there, will they? I shouldn't think so. So we'll film in the hairdressers and show it to you next week. <gasps> I can't hardly see you. Right, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> you know there'll be comments that you're not sitting far enough away from me, but listen, we're miles apart, everybody. And Matilda's keeping us apart. <laughs> I can't. Oh, I've left the door open. Oh. No, no, the front door. I've left the front door open. Oh, Hold on, I'll be back. Oh, I'm not 
Drop your notice there. Oh gosh, have you done your belt up? Oh, no. <laughs> Where's the... That coat's so big that it's... Yeah, I don't know why you picked this coat. Well, it's I cold. Like that one of yours. <laughs> that's wool. Oh dear. I can't stop laughing. Okay, right, we, we should get a mask for Matilda, shouldn't we? What, a what? A mask for Matilda. Oh no. I wish I'd got one for her, that would be brilliant, that would be a great thumbnail. Right, off to the hairdressers. Chilly old morning. your mask Matilda. I didn't know we were supposed to wear masks in the car. Yes, because I, you know, this is the closest I can get to you. That is it from me this week. I thought you'd like to have um, a look at Mutti at the hairdressers. Um, it's really tricky though, everyone masked up isn't it? And who knows what's in store for us this week. Um, I am continuing to love living in this flat. I absolutely love it. I now live in fear that I won't be able to afford it um, forever. Um, but um, who knows? Now it's uncertain times, isn't it? But whatever, at least I've been able to have some time here and hopefully uh, for a lot longer. The sun is out. Um, it's going to be quite a nice day today, I think. This is going out on a Sunday and I looked ahead and the weather forecast says it's going to be sunny a bit colder but not rainy so that's a good thing as you know the sun dictates my mood um i will see you for the midweek vlog on wednesday i made an extravagant purchase that i am feeling so guilty about anyway i will show you that on wednesday um meanwhile thanks to all of you don't forget to hit the bell because um i don't always post on the same day midweek so if you hit the bell um it will let you know when i've posted give us a thumbs up leave a comment I try to answer every single comment and whatever this week has in store for us, have a good week and stay positive. And this community means everything to me. How saccharine is that? But it truly does. And who is this week's walker? Keep sending them. Bye. I'm walking. Yeah, the knee.